friends. Hey, guess what? I'm already playing Use It or Lose It. So, Stacy, what is Use It or Lose It? It is where you use partials. Now, personally, I try to make myself use only partials. Now, if you're not somebody who has that extent of partials, it's okay. You don't got to use only partials. But your manicure has to have at least one of the sets in it be something you're reusing. So, in Sassy Crew, link below is my group on Facebook where lots of nail nonsense takes place. Good God, that's gorgeous. Linda Lloyd, thank you. So here's a problem I personally have. Not only do I make my own partials every single year, friends, <laughs> send me partials. And Linda Lloyd sent me these. They are both in Coco Japan. I'm not sure. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure the names. Um, but if you're in Anna's group, the Shibella group, she um, sells all the Encoco Japan orders um, at least a couple times a month. They are, I believe, still $14 a set. Let me get that. These glitters in it are a little chunky, so I'm trying to make sure I nip them down. Um, anyway, so both of these sets are from Lynn Deloitte. Thank you, friend. So I thought, I know, Panny, just wait, Mommy's almost done. Don't tell him that I'm not actually almost done, you guys. Okay, you know when you lie to your kids like that? Same thing's happening here. Um, so both of these are from Lynn, and I just have been waiting to use them for a little neutral moment. Oh, hi, sweet boy. Pan's trying to climb up, you guys. Um, so that's how we're kicking off. Use it or lose it. <gasps> Lynn Deloid. Uh, kiss your face. Oh, good God, that's gorge. And now, no, I do think that this and the middle part are a good match. I was gonna say maybe these aren't the best match, but I think they're pretty good. I'm pretending they're pretty good. And this is gonna be a real simple mani, you guys. Like, I'm not getting too crazy. I am gonna add a little art moment, but nothing like super nuts. And I will do um, some heat because I am even more vigilant with doing some heat when it's a partial. You know, it's been open once. Um, okay, so back to what use it or lose it is. So for all of February, we're using old sets, which interestingly enough, the reason it is February is because normally in March, we would get, you know, a new core catalog with spring release. Now, <laughs> we got core catalog before that. So, let's see how many people are good at using partials when they now are going to have, like, new sets at hand. Um, so, what happens? Why are, why are we doing this? A, we're doing this because uh, Color Street has made it a little too easy to use something you know pop something new open um and on to the next one and then the next week there will be another four sets released and so on and so forth and pretty soon you have 11 billion sets of partials and you're using none of them and they're just stocking up so my thought behind this was let's use some of our junk you guys i mean and it's not junk look this is gorge and this is somebody else's junk. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> uh, so for me, I try to use... I actually might pull out an overlay to go with this. 
only because um, I was just saying I need to use, like I have to make an active plan of attack. <laughs> My overlay partials, they're out of this uh, world. They're out of hand, big time. And I do like having two layers on. <gasps> oh, I'm not gonna wanna take this off, Lynn. Come on, Lynn, I love, love, love these. Actually, I know that I don't have these two sets and I am going to go order them because we're going to see this mix again. It's freaking bomb. Bomb.com. Oh, so good. So if you're in Sassy, what you do is use at least, like I said, at least one partial in your mix. And then... Um, when you take your nail fee, you post your nail fee in the use it or lose it thread, which kicks off on February 1st. And then at the end of the month, I will put everybody's names on a wheel and spin and somebody will win a big prize pack of goodies, nail goodies, um, more than likely a flax bag because I put those everywhere I can because I just think like, I know that I preach the flax bag for your hands because, or for your nails, because it is necessary there. But also, you guys, I use it, um, you know, weekly, I mean, almost daily, let's be real, on my head or neck or eyes or ears or wherever. So don't think of it, you know just for your nails so if you have more than one be like oh i don't need more than one okay in my house there's probably and i'm not kidding 15 and there's multiple of the small size floating around which is what i use for nails but there's also a million other like smaller than that size bigger than that yeah so There'll be that. There'll be nails. Um, probably some of my gel top coat. Don't be jellish. There'll be all kinds of stuff. Just for fun. And some kind of cool sticker. Because there should always be some kind of cool sticker. To, you know, mark your win. And then, once use it or lose it, is done in February. We move right into spring and summer bingo, which is going to be really good this time because each square has two options, one of which is a little challenge square. So, for example, I was talking about it in Sassy and Alive the other day, and I said an example is one square says use a jelly. But the challenge part of the square is to make a little stained glass finger. Now, I did a stained glass um, holly leaves and berries over Christmas time. But it doesn't have to be that kind of in-depth, right? Like, it doesn't have to be a picture of something. It could be as simple as just making, you know... A rainbow of colors, um, a mishmash of colors that go together, uh, stuff that doesn't go together. It doesn't it? Doesn't matter. It's just, you know, taking a second to stop and enjoy the art of our addiction. That is all. And it, there's no extra like, um, you know, if you. It do a challenge square, you do a challenge square. If you do a um, the basic part of the square, you do that. It, it It's not giving you anything extra by doing the challenge other than just um, some of us tend to take things a little further anyway. So it's it's a good, you know, exercise for your your skills in your brain at least if you want to do them a little bit and again I have it set up so that it will be um, you know if you do your nails once a week you'll you can do every square if you choose if you do your nails 
<coughs> excuse me, twice a week like I do or even more like some of us do, um, you'll also easily get it filled in. The idea, as always, is that what you already have planned um, will work at, uh, for one of the squares, right? And that, for the most part, you're not going to have to really think to do it. But I know that the challenge squares will make you think, and that is the idea behind them. So maybe you only want to do two challenges throughout the whole thing. That's fine. You do two challenges and do the rest of them just, you know, on the um, basic part of the square, and that's fine too. So just for fun, you guys. And those, uh, the bingos, I do for prize boxes for those. Everybody submits their cards. Um when they get finished, but know that there is no, it's not like grandma's bingo where the first person to get done wins. It's, um, all the names go in at one time and on the spinny wheel and spin and it doesn't matter if you have one done or if you have the whole thing done. So there's that, but use it or lose it again. Just another fun thing, you guys. I'm just always trying to add fun bits. I just posted in there and we just started a pass along puzzle. Um, and it's a 500 piece puzzle and anybody that would like to take part can take part. If you don't want to take part, of course, you do not have to. Nothing's mandatory. The idea is just to give us fun stuff to do. And it's not 100% always nails either, you guys. It's kind of a, it's like a lifestyle ladies group with a, with a heavy nail flavor. <laughs> because at the end of the day, we are really all about nails in there. But Okay, let's grab an overlay super quick. I don't think I want to get too busy because... I do want to be able to admire and love this. Well, what is this? Sure, that'll work. It's not. Oh, I'm knocking stuff down. Hmm. I don't know what that's from. It's from a sub box. I mean, I know that much. I don't know which one. Ah, oh, probably something New Year's-y because it's called Champagne Fizz. So I'm sure it's from like a December box. One of the black boxes. Let me get this. I got a big chunk of nail under there. Those are super, super gorge. And I will throw some heat on them after. I feel like this is going to go good with this. Yeah, I mean, it's just like teeny bits of... Wait, I don't know. I do feel like it would go good with it, but hang on. What if I did something with a black print on instead? This has a pretty fall vibe to me. That might be fun. A little bit of plaid. Because we like plaid. Like, in my head I'm going, Ooh, favorite, 
favorite flannel would be awesome with it. But I don't have any favorite flannel open. So then, yeah, then I'm just sucking it up and using old school plaid. Plaid about you. Plaid about you. Middle fingers. And maybe ring. And I do have one little artsy bit up there also, which is just... Um, can use on the to accent. I will try to find the names of these sets before before I post in groups, so that if you would choose to. If you would choose to, you could get him also. Let's do them on the phone. It's a very, um, like, tote. I think is the right word or clay <laughs> it's very clay clay or taupe I don't know which it is but it's there cute okay and I will clean those edges up of course don't panic I want my plaid to be wonkified so in order to do that, I have to use a strip that is um, bigger than the finger that I'm putting it on. Otherwise, it's not big enough to get it, like, um, turned and wonkied. One sec. I might be off screen. I'm trying to catch the edge of that. Them tweezers, you guys. Listen. I was using those tweezers utilitarily. And that is not how they're meant to be used. Yeah, and they wouldn't grab the edge for me. These ones will. There we go. Sorry, teal tweezers. That's why I have to order tweezers in a three-pack. Because I do use them utilitarily. So, what does that mean? That means when I open a new bottle of remover, <laughs> I stab my tweezers through that little thing and then use the tweezers to pull it off the seal. I use them to break seals all the time at my desk. And that is not the best idea. I'm not suggesting it, friends. I'm just admitting to what I do. Clean this baby up. Oh, these are cute. I haven't done a little neutral moment in a while. But here we are. Get neutral with it. Okay. I mean... This plaid is good, no matter what way you use it, you guys. But I do always really like it turned sideways better. Good thing I'm putting heat on these because I got a little, a little bump there. Oh, let me know if there is less glare. I put the little, oh, uh, what's it called? Like a diffuser on my light. I forgot it even came with it. I could have been using it all along. I feel like I want two plaids, but I don't know where. <coughs> I 
kind of want to do one on the ring finger because the ombre with the wonky plaid should be pretty darn cute. Yep. It is. <gasps> Gorgeous. Lynn, you know me. Girl, you know me. in a sec also if you worry about it getting foldy on you if you leave your plastic piece on it help keeps helps to keep everything stiff for you beauty. She is beauty. She is grace. She's got plaid all over her face. <laughs> who, who deals with my nonsense? There we go. Yep. Glad I took those out. And, you know, I am a big fan of having two layers upon my fingers. At least two. I won't say just two. It can be more. It could be three. Three might make me happier than two. I just like having multiple layers. I feel safer with that. There we go, my friends. I love them. Now I'll add heat, get rid of all the wrinkles, smooth up the edges, and that's it. I don't even think I'll throw top coat on them because um, I won't really need it with two layers. And I know these don't get to last long because I will be helping Shannon do live deals. Uh, a bunch of live deals in her group to keep myself entertained. So there it is ladies yeah thanks Linda Lloyd I love these they're gorgeous that taupey clay color with the big gold chunks is bomb not that the ombre isn't but that is beautiful all right have a good one friends see you soon